In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a spectate system in Roblox Studio. So after a player dies, they'll be able to spectate everyone else in the game. Make sure you join my Roblox group and my Discord with the links in the description and let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into players and then set the character auto loads to false. This will make sure that the character doesn't automatically respawn whenever they actually die. So this is so that they can actually spectate other people. Now in the replica storage, we're just going to go ahead and make two remote events here. So one is going to be called back to lobby and the other one's going to be called by respawn. And that's it for that. And then we also want to go into the starter GUI and make a new screen GUI. I'm going to call this spectating. And in this UI, we're just going to make a few things in here. I'm going to make a frame right here that's called buttons. And then we can go ahead and make this the size of the screen. So one comma zero point one comma zero. And then we can set the background transparency to one. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and then name it spectating. All right, so we have these two. And then also I want to go ahead and add a text label in here. You can make this look however you want. Um, but up top, I just want to say kind of like this. We can go background transparency one right there. Scale text. And then the text will just be like, you died. Like that kind of. I'm going to go ahead and make the text white. So that'll just be at the top. You can make this look however you want, of course. So now in the buttons, we want to create two buttons in here. Uh, we want them to be text buttons. So at the bottom here, uh, also you can make this look however you want. I'm just going to make this for like simple for the tutorial. So in here, this one's going to be the leave button. So we'll just go ahead and name it leave. And then we could go ahead, uh, make the background to like a black and then just make it transparent a little bit. And then make the text to white or red even actually make it red. Text scale, hold it maybe so they can see it better. I'll just change the text to leave. Okay, and then we can go ahead and duplicate this button, move it over, and then we can go ahead and call this one respawn. So I'm going to change the text to say respawn, and then the color to be green. So that's good enough for those. And then in the spectating frame, we want to also make two text buttons, but these ones are going to be a little bit different. So this one is going to be kind of like this on the left side, kind of like this on the screen. We're going to make the background transparency to one and then make sure text is scaled bold and then make it white like that and then for the text you just want to make it like one of these greater than symbols or less than symbols or whatever this one is going to be called back and we could go duplicate this move it over to here or change the text of it like that and then we're going to name it next so this is just going to be the simple ui for the tutorial um it doesn't look great but it will do for now all right then we can go ahead and go and disable this so we'll just go to enable equals false all right the first thing i'm going to do is in the service script service i'm going to create a script i'm going to call this one death or you could call it death handler or whatever you want really all right first thing is we need two variables you need you want to get your product id so this is going to be the the developer product id for a purchase that you have so that the player can like buy a respawns and stuff and then we want to get the lobby id if you have a lobby to your game then you want to put that there if not then it shouldn't really matter okay so the first thing that i'm going to do is going to go game replicate storage buy respawn on server event connect function oh we'll pass in the player here we'll go game oh, marketplace service prompt product purchase player uh product id that we have there and then below that we want to go game marketplace service dot prompt product purchase finished connect function and then we want to get the id of the player the product that was purchased the id of the product that was purchased and then if it was actually purchased or not so we'll say if product equals product id so if it's the correct uh thing that they bought and purchased so if they actually did buy it then we want to say game not players get player by user id that's in the id here and then we'll say colon load character so that will basically respawn the character right there if you want the player to spawn in a specific position then you can also do this again do this and say dot character and then set primary part c frame this is if you want the player to spawn in a specific location if not then you don't really need that all right now we want to say game dot replicate storage back to lobby on server event connect function layer you want to say game 
dot teleport service teleport no we just want to teleport and then we want to set the lobby id and then the player if you do not have a lobby in your game um you could just kick the player if you want to you could just say player one kick if you don't have a lobby you could do that as well all right then down here when it's a game players player added next function c and then we'll say player dot character added connect function c we'll say c wait for humanoid or yeah wait for child humanoid died connect pull it connect function it won't take anything in we'll say task dot wait one and then game our okay sort dot by respawn fire client p so this might seem a little bit weird but all this is doing here is whenever the player dies this remote is going to give them the spectate ui and then also down here we're going to say p load character since we disabled uh, character auto load we need to actually manually load the character whenever they join the game all right um we just have one more script to add in the starter player scripts we can go ahead and add a local script here uh we can go ahead and call this spectate all right in the script it's going to be kind of a longer script but it'll be okay local rp equals game get service replicate storage we'll say user input service equals game get service user input service we'll say player equals game dot players local player and then we'll say local camera equals game dot workspace dot current camera and then we want to get the players which is equal game get service players we're going to get the death ui so this is going to be the spectate ui player dot player ui wait for child spectating and then we want to get the remotes as well so respawn remote is going to equal replicate storage wait for child by respawn local lead remote can equal probably storage wait for child back to lobby and then we'll say local spectating equals false and then we'll say probably storage dot by respawn dot on client event connect function we're going to say user info service dot mouse behavior equals enum mouse behavior dot default we'll say death ui dot enabled equals true we'll say user info service dot mouse icon enabled also equals true that we'll say player dot camera mode equals enum dot camera mode dot classic and then we'll say camera dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot custom player dot camera max distance max zoom distance i'm gonna set this to 14 you can set this to what you want and then we can also set the minimum zoom distance so i'm gonna set this to seven and then we also want to set spectating equal to true. All right, below this, we want to say player dot character added connect function character. We want to say spectating equals false. So this is whenever they actually respawn. And then we'll say death UI dot enabled equals false. Say player. Well, we'll just copy these two over. This set these both to zero. So set the camera max zoom distance and the minimum zoom distance to zero because um, this is going to be the, this is meant for first person games. So we're just going to lock them in first person kind of. So we're going to do that. And then we can go ahead and say player dot camera mode equals enum dot camera mode dot lock first person. So, I mean, it kind of does the same thing here, but it, it'll work. It works. And then in the here, we want to say death UI dot buttons dot leave dot mouse button one click connect function we'll say leave remote fire server with nothing in it we'll say death ui dot buttons dot leave dot text is going to equal teleporting this is because sometimes it will take a minute or take a couple seconds for the player to teleport back to the lobby if you have a lobby and there could be some confusion that the button's not working and stuff i've had that happen so if i change if you change the text to say teleporting then the player will know that the button was actually clicked when you go death ui dot spectating dot next dot mouse button one click connect function boom like that we'll say local p spec so this is the player that's spectating equals players find first child of camera dot camera subject 
dot parent dot name. So this is the current person that we're spectating. We'll get the players list, which is going to equal players get players. We're going to get the current index. So current index is going to equal table dot find players list. So we're going to search through the players list and look for the player we're spectating. And then we're going to get the total players, which is just going to equal the length of the players list. We'll say if current index, then current index plus plus equals one. If current index is greater than the total players, then we want to roll that back to one like that. And then also in here, we want to go down a little bit and say camera dot camera subject equals players list at the current index dot character dot head. All right, and below this, we can actually just copy this whole thing down and copy and paste it. We want to change this to back. And then all we want to do is we want to subtract here instead of add one. And then we want to flip. We want to change this if statement right here to say if it's less than one. And then instead of setting it to one here, we want to set it to the total players. But other than that, this should work. So uh, let's test it out. Any errors? So no errors yet. I'm going to go ahead and die on this side. There's no way to die. But so whenever I die, as you can see, the UI pops up. If I click this button, it'll switch to player two. And if I move on here, it's a little bit laggy, but that's because I'm not whatever. But if I move on the other one, you can see it follows the camera. If I hit it again, it'll go back to my dead body. And then, uh, yeah, if I click respawn, it won't work because I don't have a game pass. But if I click leave, then it'll say teleporting and then it'll teleport me to nothing because I also don't have anything there. But this should work fine and dandy. There is no errors in the... Yeah, so that should work for your Roblox game, at least. Um, also, feel free to change whatever you want about this. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace.